you know, having something physical in the space to balance whatever he found. And it wasn't in the, the level of all the things I look for now. Okay, I wouldn't even call what I do geomancy. It's it's an expanded version because you know that's not just earth energies anymore. It's you know I'm dealing with with extraterrestrial activities, demonic energies in the space, um, ghosts, um, portals, vortexes, um, you name it, columns, um, electromagnetic fields. Okay, I'm pretty. You know, um, uh, curses, hexes, and spells. There's um, what I call spaceships, you know, melded ETs. Um, these, I think, are actually ETs mm -hmm. because I can go in when I'm physically in a property. Um, like, you know, the old uh, movies uh, um, um, where the top, I mean, where the spaceships are hovering and they look mm -hmm. like a thing and then there's the lights coming out. Mm -hmm. Well, it, literally, um, when there's melded ETs present, those beams come through like the windows of the home and you can literally muscle test where the beam is, where it starts and where it ends and it's coming in and you can, you know, throughout the house. Uh, and then as soon as I unmeld them, the ETs go up into the spaceships and they take off and then those, that stress is not there. Okay? That is that's so one cool. of the biggest, biggest stressors. Um, you know, when I'm, when you get up, over like a minus a million stress type of thing. There's always extraterrestrial energies mm -hmm. and generally melded ETs, okay? So, because um, it takes a lot of energy to keep those spaceships invisible and yeah. the ETs to, you know, be invisible you know, and they're good at it. Now, did you say melded ETs? Meld, like they get melded. And I don't know what melds it, whether there's something that that people with machines do or the government does or what but mm. I find that they get melded, I have to unmeld them, and then they get up and go into the spaceships, <laughs> and the spaceships take off. So now here, here's my question, are they happy to take off? Like, did they feel like they were stuck here and they and they were happy to get away? Or are they like, we're not going up against this guy, we'll go cause mischief elsewhere. Like, what, what's mm. the feeling you get when they go? No, they're, they're happy. Sometimes there's um, remote transport vehicles that crash, you know, like near the house or something. And so that's why they're, they're um, sort of stuck where they are or something for some reason. Um, other thing I found when, when you have um, a space that's really, really, I don't know, I'm going to use the term polluted, but um, there could be two types of ETs and there's, extraterrestrial eggs in the space. And then when you have that, they've been around for a long time. There's a lot of energy coming from those things. Um, I just get rid of them as soon as I can because I don't want them to hatch right and have to deal with them. Yeah. Um, but there's two different types and they watch, it's like one's watching the other, you know, um, type of, it's, it's like a Mexican hat stand, you know, you know, type of a thing where- Oh my um, God. And when that happens, there's long lines of them in almost every, you know, any room, you know. Uh, um, and so that I really use the guides to clear, you know, relatively quickly. No wonder a house isn't selling if that's going on. Oh, my word. Well, that that's an extreme, but, I, but you know, it, it happens, you know, and, uh, and, that, and these are in homes that people live in, you know, like, like they like they like to go in empty spaces, like you know that uh -huh. places that are up for sale, right? Because there's no activity. Right. Um, but I found like like these um, place with the extreme amount of extraterrestrial stuff, and even tunnels going down that go under the ground out into uh -huh. the, under the street. Okay, so I yeah. mean they're they're used. There's a whole transport system, and and that like, I've seen. And, and like columns that go up, like elevators, like with to a, a mother mm -hmm. ship or something, all right? Right. So there's like a big factory. And, yeah. Um, but now, just so everyone watching understands, we're not talking about actually dug tunnels. They're like in a different frequency. So if you go digging with your shovel, you know, you might dig right through them, but they're in a different frequency. So they're not in our 3D solid vibration. 
they're sharing the same space as us, but it's a different frequency, which is how you can have a huge cavern in the same place where it's solid rock or solid earth. I'm assuming that's what you're talking about, Jay. Yes, I mean, I'm, yeah. I mean, I've only run up against that twice, mm -hmm. um, where there was something like that, where there was, you know, the, this, like, you, know, you can, I mean, it's so strong, you can energetically, I mean, I can see it. Yeah. So, um, you know, when I'm tuning into it, because um, mm -hmm. I'm more of a sensor, I feel it, and then my body and my energy field translates it into, a, 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 you know, some type of a visual form for me to, to recognize. Um, and then after that started happening, then I might hear stuff from my guides, okay? Like uh -huh. um, they might tell me to watch out or look for this or, you know, you miss something or whatever. So, <laughs> you, know, um, so, you don't get to leave yet. You got to clear that corner. But, but, now, I'm gonna, oh yeah. When you talked about the frequencies for the tunnels and stuff, wouldn't that just be uh, just a little bit of a uh, of a time shift? So it's not really in this particular moment, it's in another moment right next to you. Cause you know, you, you have all the time um, planes running right next to each other. So I, why wouldn't you just use a frequency shift and go into this timeline? And then mm -hmm. that's where the tunnels are. And then they come right back here. Um, I don't look at it that way. I look at it more as dimensional. And so it's in a different dimension. And this is where I was getting, I had a, short conversation but you know when Benita called me about the difference between you know, you know, you know so um, this is what I love this is what I love we're like talking about basically the same thing but Kim is the time lord you know that's what the librarians call yeah. you and we're and I'm like the portal interdimensional portal opener and Jay, so like each of us has our own and freak, you know, and Jay, you are what you are. I don't want to define you because I'll say the wrong thing. But so we're each like speaking about the same thing, but from a different perspective. So everyone watching, if you agree with any one of us or you have your own version. You're right. Yeah. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> Most likely you're right. <laughs> um, yeah. There, yeah. Um, with energies, there's you know, there's no particular rule. Um, you, you hope to find a pattern so that when you see a see a certain thing in a space that it represents, you know, and it's more or less consistent. Um, but with energy, anything could happen, you know, or, or shift, you know, um, from my perspective. So, um, yeah. Oh, 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 oh,